Hello. So this week I made a comic strip about giving myself permission to be bad at things and still do them. And it was because I went to a live breathing session a week ago and I went there by myself and I went there to experience the live breathing session, but also because I was hoping to meet new people and um, most of the activities I go to where I meet new people are actually activities uh, with people who stutter. And I feel very confident there in approaching others but so i was thinking that maybe i felt a bit more uh, confident in approaching people at the live breathing session but then i uh, arrived there (laughs) and yeah i was really nervous i think now i'm thinking that it was also because i started saying hi to people and some people didn't say hi back and i said hi to the guy next to me i think and he didn't say anything back and then he did start a conversation with the person on the other side of him (laughs) so i was like (laughs) but hello um so it was also that i've I I probably was really nervous and I kind of radiated that energy. So I didn't look very approachable, I think. Um, And I was very afraid to make eye contact. (laughs) Like halfway the thing, I realized I'm like, wow, I'm so nervous. And yeah, I just completely froze and felt a bit paralyzed in my anxiety. Um, yeah, so I was getting a bit frustrated with that because I r- r- really wanted to speak to people, but it just, I was just frozen in my anxiety. Like it was hard to even start. Like I was just frozen. I don't know. Um, but the live breathing session was a really n- nice experience. It was with like hand pen. <laughs> music and breathing together at the same time with like 500 people so it it was very cool um but yeah afterwards um everyone left like almost everyone left and i uh i decided to draw the place that that we were because it it was a church so it was a a very nice church and i was um practicing drawing in perspective so i was like (laughs) i'm might as well stay here for a while and make the most of my time here. And while I was drawing there and kind of accepting the situation, how it was, I became more calm. And then I decided to walk up to walk up to the person that was leading the breathing session. And he was first talking to some other people. And I I just stood there um, with them in the group for like, I don't know, uh, it it felt like a long time. Like I probably stood there for like 10 minutes while he was talking to other people. And I was also standing in the circle, but I just didn't say anything. (laughs) I'm actually very good at allowing myself to be awkward because I know it probably looked very awkward but I was like I I, I don't give a so I was just standing there in silence (laughs) and he was like uh, every once in a while he was like he was still talking to the other person he was like looking at me like and I was like (laughs) I want to talk to you so then everyone finally left and then I just started talking to him Um, so I'm uh, happy that that I did that <laughs> because I had a n- 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 nice conversation with him um, and it w- went okay and I yeah I was happy that I did that 
And after that, uh, in the evening, I went to a concert by myself for the first time. Um, it was Wallows, the band Wallows. And it was a bit of a spontaneous action. Like I bought the ticket a week, like a few days before that. And I started listening to all their songs. <laughs> and then I just w w went there. And I also wanted to kind of speak to people. But, you know, with stuttering and in being in loud environments, I feel like it gets even harder. So I was like, okay, it's fine if we don't talk to anyone. Um, and then the person, the band before Wallows, they said something like, put your hands up and uh, put your hands ar around the person y y you came here with. And I was like, <laughs> so I was, I was just standing there on my own, like, hello, there are also people on their own here. But then I received a hug from two uh, strangers and then I had a very brief conversation with them. So that was really nice. And after that, I wanted to say something more to them, but I just couldn't do it again because of the freezing feeling. Um, and th that's when I realized I was putting way too much pressure on myself to like to talk to them, but also to talk to them in a certain way. Like I had to, it, it had to be like, I was uh, allowed to stutter, but it's, it still ha had to go well. Like the conversation st still had to flow well, even though I stutter. And it had to come off nice. <laughs> and I had to end it with a good feeling. But like I, I was thinking I'm putting all these expectations on myself when I have n n never d n n done this before. Like it, it makes sense that I feel paralyzed when I'm putting all, all this pressure on myself to even do it in a specific way. So I just decided that if I am going to do this again, like go to a place with the intention to speak to people that I will give myself the p permission to like stutter super much Whoa. <laughs> to, to, to stutter a lot on like the first words, because that's also a thing that I didn't, didn't want, like in my head, I could only start talking to them if it was going to be at least a bit fluent in the beginning. So they understood I was talking to them. Um, but I, I, I'm just deciding to give myself permission to even stutter like a lot in the beginning and allow myself to be awkward and allow myself to possibly be perceived as weird and allow myself to stutter so much that they might walk away like it helps me to give myself the permission to be bad at starting conversations because otherwise I just am never gonna do that if I put so much pressure on myself to do it a certain way and I think even kind of expecting myself to be really bad at it, but still doing it, it, it will be very helpful um, because I've, uh, I have learned that that is helpful in a different context, like with overcoming obsessive compulsive disorder. I expect it to go wrong and I still do it. Because then you also don't have to argue with all your th 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 thoughts anymore. Because if your brain says that it's going to go bad and y y y you just agree w w with it and say, yeah, it's, it's going to go bad, but I'm still going to do it, then y your brain will sh shut up about it. So... I think 
that works. Um, but I've phrased this a bit better in the comic strip, like in the description of the comic strip. So I, I suggest, I recommend reading that. Um, yeah, I f f felt inspired uh, by those experiences. I'm getting a bit out of breath. <laughs> so yeah, in the end, I learned some things f from it and I'm going to allow myself to be more awkward. And like, I know I can handle awkward. I've handled awkward um, many times. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually sometimes enjoy being awkward and just sitting in that awkwardness. For example, like awkward silences, I, I often practice them, like to just be silent in a conversation and see what happens. In the beginning, it would ma make me feel like super uncomfortable, like, ah, oh, I would feel it in my stomach, like, <laughs> I don't want it to be silent. But now I feel uh, comfortable with silences and it often sparks more interesting conversations if the if you are silent because then the other person might say a bit more about what they were talking about so yeah um being awkward is great <laughs> or like learning to be awkward is great because it feels uncomfortable yes and you don't have to do anything about that you can just feel uncomfortable and that's fine and then you practice that and it becomes easier so yes, awkwardness. <laughs> okay, so this is the video f for this week. Uh, if you want to support me on pa Patreon, that would be r really nice. Um, I will I will link it in the description. But I'm also trying to get uh, as an alternative. I'm trying to make this channel um, monetized so that I don't have to ask for money. But I will just receive m money if people w watch my videos. Uh, but I think it will be, it will take a long time um, because I have to get 1000 subscribers, which is okay. But I also have to get 4000 hours of w w watch time. And that's very long <laughs> because I'm only at about 100 now. And, and it has to be within a year. So uh, in a year, it all starts over again. So that's really difficult but so it, it also really helps me if you just uh, watch these videos and leave a comment or a like because then they get boosted more i think so i also really appreciate that um did i want to say something else i don't think so okay so this is the video for this week Th thank you for watching and i'll probably see you <laughs> next week uh next week okay bye